week I talked about Mercury's upcoming transit of the sun, and I accidentally mixed it up the date with Mars's opposition. So the date, as I commented on the previous post, is um, May 9th, not May 22nd, which May 9th is actually a Monday. So that gave me the idea, since I will, of course, be watching it because I want to watch these things. I will be at the center because it's a Monday, and so if anybody would like to stop by and look at Mercury's transiting of the sun through a telescope that's equipped with a solar filter and everything, feel free to stop by. It, um, it'll be around, till around 12.30ish, so before 12.30, but any time until then from like 9.30 to 12.30, I should be there and ready to show anybody if anybody wants to see. So May 9th. Um, another thing that you might see if you come and look through the telescope are sunspots. As we speak, there is actually a sunspot on the sun that's big enough, it's a few times as big as Earth. It's big enough to see with the naked eye if you have a solar filter to look through. So not quite naked eye, but you can't see it with just your eye because you will damage your eyes. Um, but so sunspots are made from like knots in the sun's magnetic field, which create cool places on the sun's surface, which are still not cool, but they look darker compared to everything else. So those are cool. And sometimes there are these things called solar flares on the sun, which you may have heard of, but they are just a giant flare of material that comes out and when I say giant, it does it may not look that big compared to the sun, but they can easily be like 15 or 20 Earths in size. So they are giant. And sometimes, usually, but not always, there, when accompanying a solar flare, there is a coronal mass ejection where the sun spews tons of charged particles out in the direction of the flare. And if there were, usually um, sometimes like solar flares, um, can be pointed towards Earth, and that is what creates the aurorae, like stronger aurorae. Um, but a coronal mass ejection that's really strong could wipe out our entire power grid if it hit us and we weren't prepared. But NASA has spacecraft monitoring the sun, so hopefully we would know and be able to shut off the power grid so that we wouldn't be, we wouldn't get wiped out by the coronal mass ejection if that were to happen. Um, the sun also has. 11 year cycles, which um, of peak activity and lulls in activity. And right now we're getting pretty near the lowest lull. And so it's pretty surprising that there's a giant sunspot on the sun. But so, yeah, if you want to come on May 9th, I really encourage you to come take a look through the telescope. If it's really cloudy, then I probably won't be able to see anything. So, but if it's clear ish, uh, you'll be able to, you should be able to see it. So come on down, check it out. Thanks for watching and clear skies.